Hello. I think everything's set up. <laughs> As per usual, I will need confirmation that you guys can hear me. But we've got a cool little stream set up today, which I'm excited about. Is anybody there? <laughs> I think it's working. I'll test my own volume. Okay, you can hear me. <laughs> right. How's it going, everyone? We have got our hands on a fresh rig today. Loud and clear. Amazing. Thank you. Uh, I'm going to turn down the music a little bit. So, we've got our hands on a fresh rig today. This is the Leo rig. It looks really cool. It's by uh, Wonderwall Studios. I begged them to let me use it. <laughs> I'm doing well. Look how lovely this rig looks. So I'm really excited to test it out more. I went in and made a little picker because I don't like MG Picker. I like Allen School. And it's got everything I need there. Uh, so what I've done is I found some random audio online and I'm going to test it out. Uh, what I'll do is I'll post a link to the rig as well if anyone's interested in it. I think it's out in a couple weeks. I've managed to sneakily get it early. Little picker lad, exactly. You know Aaron. Uh, currently the rig's 20% off, so chat is kind of delayed. I think that's just normal, right? I think that's just a stream. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> it's delayed from me speaking. That's strange. Anyway, so yeah, check out the rig. It's 20% off at the moment. And I've done a pose with it and made a picker. And it's actually really nice. <laughs> Yeah, it looks dope, man. Uh, I'm going to be testing it out now. So let me just reset him. I did make a pose just to advertise the stream. But I've set up a default pose here as well. There was something I wanted to change in my default pose. Because by default, the chest pivots on itself, which I think could be quite useful for some instances, but I'm not used to it. So I'm going to find out where a pivot look would work better for me is. Maybe it's in the minus numbers. Yeah, this is more what I'm used to from a chest control. So I think I'm going to maybe make minus 10. And then I'm going to save that as a default pose in Animbot again using the bundle snapshot. And then hopefully that should save it. And then whenever I reset the controls, they go back to these, this, basically. <laughs> default standing pose, exactly. So... Uh, another thing that I did to the rig, which I do a lot now, is I just select the faces on the inside of the mouth and make them black. It just feels a bit more cartoony and graphic to me. Personal choice, but I think it looks cool, especially when you're doing posing and that sort of thing. Anyway, so let's let's show you what I've got. I've got some random audio I just found from online. It's just a few seconds. How long is that? 95 frames. Uh, and I shot a little bit of reference. Here I am, <laughs> looking stupid. I don't know if it's synced. It is synced, so I'll play it. Wow. I didn't feel sick at all. Not once. Wow. I didn't feel sick at all. Not once. I think it's wow. someone that's just tried VR for the first time in context, but wow. I'm not too thinking about the planning of this. I just wanted to test it out and do like a little acting thing. Bit overacted, but what are you gonna do? <laughs> I'm not an actor. So I think I'm gonna start. It's funny that the first frame doesn't actually affect the reference. So this is Keyframe Pro, if you don't know. Uh, and I have a tool, they have a tool for Keyframe Pro which syncs up your reference to your timeline. And that way you don't have to have heavy image planes in the scene at all. Hiya, how's it going? Uh, so, let's just start posing. Uh, I'll get rid of this nice pose I did and we'll just start with the default. So I think I'm just going to find, this is kind of in motion, so I'm going to find a key pose. Sorry, I moved the camera. Also, I should probably, you know, do some layout and line up the camera to actually match the side that the reference is on. That would make sense. We're kind of looking slightly up, but it's not too bad. And it's more of a mid shot, so I don't have to animate the legs. Not too bothered about the layout. I'm more just it's more just a little rig test, but I like doing acting shots, so this is how we're gonna start. Alright. Let's get rid of uh oh I think I have a random key left on frame one. Let me get rid of that as well. 
cool so let's start as i said i'm gonna start with this pose because this one's kind of in motion so i don't think i actually want to start with that one i imagine his legs are probably a bit more stanced up so i'll do that before i move the cog but yeah from my test so far this rig's very nice and it's got some cool features about it so i'm a fan i'm gonna put his weight over here give his head space central i'm just kind of matching up the pose and then we'll push it a bit and find something nice so i don't know if i'm gonna be able to do the whole i think he's, he's kind of in on himself how is what's this pose I'm trying to think shapes wise i imagine that we'll, we'll make it more of a reverse c shape so that we can get into it with a bit of contrast and that'll be cool does it come with library and stuff it does actually yeah uh let me open it up i set that up last night yeah look at this so he's got a bunch of expressions which are actually quite nice and some hand poses some mouth shapes it's pretty cool they've, they've really done the full works with this and as you can see there's a it's got render kind of shaders that i think you can apply i think these are just the anim shaders which are quicker but i think you can apply render shaders that they have pre-set up if you want to do nice looking renders we've even got some poses in here <laughs> so that's cool uh i don't really use libraries as much as i probably should uh yeah on the last production i was on i just kind of did everything <laughs> by hand <laughs> i'm gonna try to use fk arms because i want to practice with fk a little bit i'm usually an ik boy but we'll we'll mix it up so let's just figure out what a pose can be for this first one where he's saying wow i've got the parent on the eyes not completely on the head it's on 0.6 so that way it does follow the head a bit but not fully it's it's got a little bit of looseness in there and i think that gives it a bit more organic feel okay so let's make this pose not look trash let's work on it uh, so yeah i'm basically just going to work through it as if it's a, a shot and see what the rig can do but everything seems to be pretty nice from what I can tell so far. Just maybe get him over a bit for contrast. Uh, I think I'm having his cock go back and his chest go forward for this. <laughs> and we've got this what the fuck face going on. <laughs> Maybe I could use the library for some quick cam poses here, actually. Let's have a look. Might might speed me up a bit. I think for hands, libraries are very useful. What have we got? We've got relaxed. Uh, which matches this quite nicely. Maybe I could do... Mix it in with a few of these. Blend a few different bits in. Break up one of the fingers, maybe. So if you middle mouse click with Studio Library, you can blend towards poses, which is really nice. Okay, and this one is kind of a... Uh, eh? Eh? I always forget my camera's on this side because my chat's over here. <laughs> so let's figure out a pose for that. What are we saying? I'll just go in by hand and do it. They've got one of these, which is great. It's a little controller on the side of the hand, which kind of bends it. You can kind of get nice arcs in the fingers without having to go in at every single digit. Have to edit them, you know. Which is always super nice. Always appreciate rigs with that control. All right, so let's tense the ends up a bit, maybe. All right, let's go for an expression. He's, I haven't actually touched this much, but I think there's pretty nice deformations in here just to push the reverse C a little bit. And since his weight's on this leg, I'm going to widen it a little bit, I think. Just like that. Cool. So let's push the expression a bit in here. I'm going to 2D pan zoom it. Yo, thanks for the follow. My follow volume is well loud. <laughs> I don't know if I can turn that down. If not, we're going to have to live with it. Who followed me? Hey, yeah. Gerva, how you doing? I like that you simplified the weight uh, already in the pose. Your ref has an S line of action, but you made it a C. Yeah, it's because I think... I'm thinking about contrast. I'm thinking about where I'm going to be coming from for this pose. And I imagine this 
as a stronger reversi and then this comes back on itself into like a c shape you know let me draw that so i'm going is it gonna let me draw maybe not on top of keyframe because it's always on top so yeah i'm gonna go into this kind of c shape so when i start i want to contrast that and he can go from here to here you know so that's why i simplified it from the reference anyway let's do this facial expression he's kind of wow he's surprised which i always look angry because i've got pointy eyebrows in real life so i don't think <laughs> don't think i'm gonna copy that uh reference too closely for the face here but these eyebrows are, are pretty damn nice you can get some some nice shapes going with it i like the squint i've got though so that's let's try for that i'm gonna have to clean wow okay maybe up a bit more uh I need to add all of these minor controls onto my picker, I think. I've only got the major ones, and you can't get exactly the shapes I want with just the major ones. Because there's bits in the middle, like there and there, that I can't actually control very much. I basically just want to make this like a simple shape, like a semicircle. But yeah, I want to add these minor controls like this one to the picker, and that way I can edit things a lot easier. This has a really nice... Uh, amount of eye follow which you can change which is quite good you get a little bit of connectivity for free i wanted to look over here i guess towards where my camera was set up let's try and figure out so let's push the people over this way a bit let's do that over here i always like rigs that have uh this like an eye ring control as well as an eyelid control because you always, if you end up with pushed eyebrow shapes, you always end up with a bit of jank with that. So it's very nice to be able to edit and adjust. I don't want that to feel too pointy. So let's fiddle with it. And let's compress this side like I did with the other. Uh, again, I need this one to make that straight. Let's focus on that. Not the biggest fan of this expression. I'm going to push it a bunch. Wow. All right, let's focus on the mouth for just a second. I think what might help is he's got head shapers, which are really nice. So I can push the line of action in the head on both to pinch on one side, which is pretty nice. His chin is a bit pointy, however. <laughs> Got a little squish. Look at that. That's a nice little squish. Oh, I've messed up the camera. There you go. Alt Z to undo cameras, if you don't know. Alright, let's do let's make this mouth shape a lot better at least. I think I don't have to hide these too much because I can just go. Oh my god, they have visibility switches. Thank the Lord. Okay, the visibility switch only works for <laughs> it only works for the the control I imagine. All right, but what it does have is scale, which they didn't have on my last production. It was very annoying if you wanted to hide the t uh, the teeth. Oh yeah, thanks for the follow. Extra VR. All right, the tongue also has a scale. Um, what I'm doing now is what I like to do with mouths a lot is make them as graphic as possible. One of the reasons that I made the inside of the mouth black is so that I can see that easier. Um, so what I've done is I've gone from, I should have saved the mouth that I had before, but I've gone from having a mouth shape which has a lot of clutter in it and it has overlapping shapes like the teeth overlapping the tongue on both ends and not much negative space. And I've tried to give the teeth and the tongue its own silhouette space. And I've even gotten rid of the bottom teeth because I think for this expression, it's not really needed. It's just adding confusion. So there's a little conscious choice. Look at these mouth shapers though. You can get some nice stuff really simply and easily. I think they even have Z space really nicely as well, which is awesome. I like when a rig has that. So I can push this back in Z, look at that. T for colliding now, but that's fine. I can just move them back in space. What's he saying? Wow. wow. I kind of think he looks a bit too annoyed here. So I'm going to change it up a bit. Also, my eyes are completely off balance. Uh, so I might cheat. Cheat the eyes a little bit. You can move them around. 
which is always nice so that they're on a similar horizon line wow yeah i think he could almost be happy with this so let's let's do a little trick i'm just gonna key everything on the frame go up a frame and then work on this frame basically so i've reset those controls and i'm gonna reset these i want him to be more pleased with it this was cool i noticed on the rig it has two uh mouth controls one which moves the tongue and teeth with it yo how's it going thanks for the sub less than three less than three that's a heart thank you yeah so there's two controls here which are pretty dope you've got the one that moves the teeth and the tongue with it and then one that just moves the kind of lip shape usually you just get this one on a rig but it's kind of cool to have this as well if you want to do more of a macro adjustment like this wow yeah so i think at the end of wow he's going to go into a smile because he's like shocked i think that's what i'm going for but look at these creases that you get for free you get some nice nice shapes uh he also has little teeth deformers so if i want to simplify this shape i can do that look at that pretty easy to get nice appealing shapes right um he's also got a little neck nudger little shaper i'm using my pickup but it's got a lot of cool stuff i've not touched the neck yet so maybe i can add a little bit to the neck just to add to the gesture of the wow and also the hips uh, his weight's gone onto this side a bit so i'm gonna put his weight over there as you can see i think that works a bit better but that's pretty appealing pretty quick and easy to get something quite appealing in him isn't it I don't know if it's worth fiddling with the squash and stretch on the head a little bit. Yeah, I quite like the head angle I have. I don't think I'm going to mess with that. Right, so I'll get rid of that frame like I had before because we've got this. Am I in stepped? I don't know if I'm in stepped. No, I'm not stepped. Let me check myself in stepped. And check chat. Including the tongue. Yeah, I think a lot of the. A lot of the controls in here are made to be appealing. I feel like a lot of rigs is they're just focused on technical aspects and not actually. You can tell that they've tested this a lot on the animation side, not just the technical side, because I think technically it works great. And also they've just made it really nice to use. Just going to get a little bit more of that DreamWorks eyebrows going. So, yeah, I mean, I've, I'm changed from my <laughs> I don't even know what this face is enhance look at this face i don't know what i'm doing uh <laughs> he's not pleased so we changed that a lot because i wanted to be more wow uh you know shocked and amazed maybe i i'm wondering if he, where he could look to make this even better at the moment at the moment i've got him looking at camera but he's kind of internal with the wow here i feel like it's not directed at someone i think that would be a nice acting change if we go from internal with the wow he's kind of in himself and then he talks to the person and changes his attention i think that would be that would be better what's Aaron saying in relation to the spine to the hips have to rotate the chest to in z oh you mean if you want to go uh i guess you're talking about if you're going for this c shape versus something like that i guess i guess i can even it out i think you're probably right um but yeah let's let's make this more of an internal thing and i can even make the pupils a bit smaller because he's kind of shocked Right, I might end up changing that. I think I've got an idea for it, but let's let's uh, make this pose the same as that, and then we'll figure out the pose that goes up into this one. So it looks like his weight's kind of coming forward and back. So let's do that forward and back. That doesn't make any sense. How do animation? <laughs> yeah, press the animate button. Here you go. Oh, and I'm doing some headspace stuff for you. <laughs> 
So when the weight goes back, the you have to rotate forward to compensate, right? There we go. <laughs> and his weight's also going onto this leg more and coming up onto that leg more. Boom. Uh, and the chest is kind of leading and then coming down. Is that what's happening? I can't tell right now. Maybe I'll just go for a for a C shape into a reverse C shape and try not to mess with the headspace too much. Kind of looking down at this point, I think. And we'll get his arm out of the way. Looks a bit broken now, but we'll figure it out. Shoulder connect to that, a bit forward. This arm's actually a bit wider. So I'm just kind of getting the general ideas of what's moving and then I'll go in and figure out how to make it appealing. <laughs> That's kind of my uh, my workflow, I guess. Because right now he's looking a bit broken. And I think a big part of that is the amount of skull shapers that I've used. So let me reset them. Right, so yeah, the headspace is going a bit too much, I think, for this, which was partly this is fault. So let me blend that back and forward a bit. This, so we're going for a reverse C here, so I'm going to push that over to that side, so then it has somewhere to go. There you go. So we've got contrast now. Now I just need to make it appealing. So I think it would make sense to have this as more of a compressed, and then we'll go into more of an open. So let's do that. Oops. Let's compress this whole thing. And when you compress, you can compress inwards as well for tension. Everything kind of goes into that middle point. And the mouth is kind of opening as it happens, but let's I feel like the neck's long or something in here. Maybe it's because I haven't actually moved the neck and we need to break that up as he comes up. <laughs> He's just becoming a little, little gremlin man now. But yeah, let's, let's go for contrast. So I'm pushing this up on this end which means I'm gonna wanna see that tongue a little bit in there and those teeth are a bit too visible now. So let's go for that. <laughs> it just looks broken now. This is how great an anime I am. Can't even get it right. Bit over to keep the headspace more aligned. Uh, I wonder if I can just use a ooh shape in here. Ooh. Obviously that messed up my teeth and stuff, but that's fine. We'll figure it out. Let's switch the space. All right, or maybe I don't need to cheat the teeth quite as much, teeth and tongue. He has some nice uh, zip controls here, which are good for ooze. Look at that, ooh. Let's hide some of this stuff a bit more. <laughs> it looks pretty broken. How are you finding the rig? Yeah, it's pretty nice. It's it's pretty appealing. Straight heading or pose to posing? I'm pose to posing. Uh, I'm just trying to figure out a way to make this less crap. But that's fine. I'll figure it out. So his spine is going to reverse through this when he does his little wow. Maybe I'll close the eyes fully. It looks a bit weird at the moment. Uh, maybe we'll make that easier is if I just reset the eyes real quick and then close them because I imagine that's the way the rig's set up. Most rigs are set up that way. Yeah, cool. And then I can compress some other bits as well when I'm in here. 
And make sure all of the middle of these eyebrows connect up. So if, if what I just had was a bit of a break in here and that looks a bit broken. So if I make a line that flows between the two eyebrows, that's going to look a lot better. So yeah, he's going to come up for this while. Wow. Cool. Uh, what are the hips doing? So yeah, I want to reverse the hips in here to help with that C shape. So we get this C-shape going into this reverse C-shape. There you go. Animation. Maybe I can even translate this over a little bit just for a little bit of something, something. And keep his head space, not too much. Maybe I can make his head translate a tiny bit just because I think the neck looks a bit strange in there. Cool. Uh, anything else that might help with this pose? We're going to be coming out of it pretty quick. It's all about the next pose, really. Yeah, so the shoulders are going to come up with him. Wow. I think that arm's doing too much, really. I'm going to tone it down. So I'm going to blend it towards the next pose. Bunch with Anibot. And then it's got less of a distance to travel. So let's find the next pose. My screen's a bit of a mess with everything on here, so let's hide this. Head squash and stretch, yeah. Uh, do you have an eye blink blend? I think it does have an eye blink blend. I think it might be in some of the controls. What does it have? Yeah, there was something, I swear. I did see something. It was lash size. Ooh, hello. <laughs> Nice. Okay, that's cool. Uh, yeah, sorry, I'm confusing myself. There is blink. They're in the eye scales. Whoops. I should lock the camera before I kill myself. Right, yeah, so there are blinks in here. There you go. Oh, cool. All right, that might have made things a bit simpler, but oh well. Right, so let's figure out this pose here. It's kind of coming around a bit. Onto this leg a bit. I imagine forward, he's leaning forward a bit, so I'm going to push him back to get that. Might be a bit much, so I'm just going to scale that back. I have a hotkey for blending back to the previous, which is pretty good. So yeah, when I'm, when I'm kind of going for my reference as a first pass, this is kind of what I do. I just go through the poses and figure it out and work on kind of the extremes. So let's figure this arm out. I'll have to get a much nicer hand pose. I think it needs to come forward more. And maybe it needs to keep some of its bend, but I'm breaking the elbow. It needs to be that way. And then I need to do more of the turn in the wrist. See, this is what I mean. I'm not used to <laughs> FK. Right. This guy is coming back on himself and the shoulder's going up as well. And maybe we can loosen up the forearm a little bit and open up the hand. So I'm not going exactly what my reference is. I'm also trying to think about what's appealing because reference isn't always appealing. Like maybe I get him over this way to match the reference a bit. What's, this, what's it doing? It's going forward and over. And the head's kind of squishing in on itself with the shoulders coming up. So let's do that some more. Cool. And now let's figure out these hand poses. Just kind of fiddling. We'll figure something out that's appealing. Cool. Let's figure out some hand poses. Let's see if I can use some of the studio library stuff and get something. Just kind of playing with them to try and get something somewhat 
nice. I'm not the best hand poser, <laughs> for sure. But let's let's see if I can find something. I like that this farm is out in the uh, in the reference. I think that breaks it up a bit. How's it going? It's all good, man. Ooh. <laughs> Aaron, you're getting called out for not making enough videos. Where are the videos at, huh? Um, Anibot actually has a cool thing now, which is like blend to uh, mirror. So I'm going to do a little bit of that to get a little bit of this shape going in here. Oh, whoops. Wrong control. I don't want this one. trying to find something in here that has the movement that that's doing in the reference but also gives it its own silhouette space because that'll be much nicer tuck that head in more chest isn't doing too much Kind of opening up a little bit this way. We've also got arm shapers, which might help with simplifying some of these lines through the arms a little bit. So let's add that in. I've added that into my picker already. Cool. So let's work on the face real quick. What's he doing? So I think I'm going from a squished to an open here. It's a little bit squished, but it's still open. So I might go into another squished here. It feels sick. So he's kind of compressing just like how his shoulders are coming up and compressing and that sort of thing. So we'll go for that. <laughs> it's coming, I promise. We all want your spacing video, Aaron. Teach us the ways. Right. So let's try and make this a clean shape, clean little compressed shape. I use a lot of hotkeys whilst working, so if you miss anything that you're interested in how I did it, then feel free to ask. I will do my best to explain what the hell I'm doing. Cool. Uh, so let's compress this side as well. Make sure that's nice. I love that this has like a Z on here. Some rigs don't have that and it's the worst because you end up with just weird intersecting eye shapes. Uh, so yeah, that's maybe squish from the top a little bit as well. And then we're going to end up with a bit more compression up here as well. I'm just going to lower some of these. I don't know why my face is so tense when I shoot reference, but it is. I try not to copy it too much because then you end up with nothingness. But he's still happy in here, so I want to keep him. <laughs> I think he's a bit too angry looking. So let's turn these guys down a bit. Get less of that eyebrow indent, maybe. Cool, I don't want to go too much into map shapes because I'm going to end up doing that anyway, but I'll just pose this to look nice, even though I end up changing it. Cool, so let's find the next ski pose. So I might say the next key pose is all the way over here. I mean, it's not really the next key pose, but this is the next one I'm kind of building towards. The rest of it's kind of all within a pose. So let's figure that out. Um, and then what I can do is I can figure out what some of the poses in the middle would actually be. So here, I think he's going back a little bit. I just want to get a little bit of that depth in there. And then I want to get his weight over on this leg a little bit more. So let's go that way with it. 
So yeah, when the weight goes over this way, I'm rotating it to compensate. Keep his head and stuff steady. So yeah, at this moment, it's when he looks at the person he's actually talking to. This is what I was talking about earlier. So we'll have to do a lot in the face in a minute, but just to start, I'll get him to look at over towards the camera this way. What's the dialogue, please? Can you hear this? Just a little simple thing I found. It says, wow, I didn't feel sick at all. Not once. So yeah, just a little thing I found. I thought it might be <laughs> simple enough to do, but maybe I've been a bit too ambitious for only a couple hours. All right, I think his chest is actually going this way because his arm is going to be swinging back around that way. Let's reset that arm. Got a little hotkey for that. And I think maybe I'll just get his arm back to a similar position as this. Uh, not the shoulders so much, but the rest of it. Let's get the shoulder in here. And then his hands kind of tensing up a lot more than it was there. So let's make that more of a fist if it lets me. I don't know if that's me lagging or if it's the thing. Let me save <laughs> before everything breaks. Standard Maya. I'm just trying to blend between these shapes, find something that kind of works for at least what I'm doing in the moment. I'm going to clean up this shape a little bit with these shapers. So yeah, this arm's going to come down as well. So let's maybe just copy the mirror of this for a second just as a starting point obviously we don't want it to be the exact same and i probably want this arc to continue around this way and then we can just relax different parts of it we'll keep the hand kind of in and what happened with the shoulder during this bit is let's just get it Going back down a bit and back on itself a little bit. Cool. Um, so spine shape wise, what's happening? I feel like he's kind of just pivoting weirdly in this pose, which I'm not the biggest fan of. Like his spine is coming forward, but his cog is kind of stuck, you know? which I'm not the biggest fan of. We're not getting the nicest, cleanest shapes. So, I mean, maybe we can do like a mini weight shift over this way. And then for this one, we can actually just do the opposite of what's in the reference. Just so that it has somewhere to go. I feel like it wouldn't have anywhere to go otherwise. I think that also means that maybe I should come forward for this part instead of back just for contrast sake just trying to find ways to break it up from all the parts moving in the same ways uh that do forward am i just rotating a bunch more than maybe i should i don't know mini mini little down and then back up or mini little up and then back down maybe up and then back down here. I think that'll work. Cool. Uh, so, I mean, these aren't the best poses in the world, but what I'm trying to do is just building the kind of sh shape changes throughout the piece, you know? So I think, ow, oh, he's gonna open up completely. So let's just reset. Let's just reset a bunch of these controls because unlike what I've done in my reference, which I don't think is very clear, I'm gonna, he's gonna go from kind of being introspective and thinking to being open and talking to his pal over here. So let's do that. Just gonna mirror his entire mouth, <laughs> which didn't work amazingly, but gives us a starting point. Let me reset a few things. But yeah, super quick and easy to get nice shapes with this guy for sure kind of want to go for a little mini 
shark mouth opening this way. So things compressing on this side, things opening on this side. That's kind of the standard for face, face posing. So it'd be like that kind of thing. So let's try that out. <laughs> Your stream is really inspiring. It's strangely relaxing. That's cool. Thanks, man. Right now, I'm not doing anything very inspiring with my work. It's, 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 uh, it's just building blocks right now. But hopefully when we get a bit deeper into this shot, it'll feel pretty nice. All right, so shark mouth, same thing. I'm going to scale up this eye a little bit more than that eye. You know what I mean? And then maybe we can keep this a little bit tucked in and we'll open up on that side. But yeah, I think his head can really come over here. But he's going. Cool. So we've, we're getting the building blocks here. Uh... I wouldn't say these are final poses at all. Uh, did I do something with these? I guess I did. Can we open them up this way a little bit, maybe? So that's the shame with the, sh the shark mouth, right? I'm going from this side where we're, we're favoring this way. So everything's compressing on this right side in here and opening up on the left side. And then when I'm turning to look the other way, we're doing the reverse of that, right? So. Everything's opening up on this side and it's compressed on that side, right? So you get that kind of thing. I like to draw it that way. I think it makes a bit more sense. A lot of people draw it like this. They do a dot and open up from it. Like it's a one point vanishing point. But you're not really completely pr compressing to one point. You're just kind of favoring one side open than the other. I think that's that makes sense in my brain a lot more. <laughs> okay. Uh, I don't think I th thought about the twist of this too much. His weight's coming over and I think he's actually opening up this way in the cog at least so let's do that um, and then maybe yeah I can do the, the contrast of that in here maybe because we're going into a bit of a uh, reverse C in here and then we're going into I guess we are kind of in a reverse C here. What are we doing here? <laughs> Where are we going here? I guess we're going to try and go into this kind of C here. I'm just trying to push this middle spine around for contrast. So we go this C to this reverse. Sorry, this reverse to this C to this reverse to this C. Subtle, but it's, it's kind of built in there structurally. And that way, when we go through things, it kind of should hopefully work a bit better. I might compress this down a little bit in here. A little bit of translate. Don't want to do too much translate. I don't really use the neck control much either here. I could use it a tiny bit. I usually end up just doing that in spline and, and copying curves onto it to get a little bit of connectivity. When you're animating a simple short shot, how long does it take to do? Um, I think it depends. It, if it's... I don't know if I would consider this simple. I think it's... It's 90 frame frames, it's short. But it's like a full-on acting thing, you know. I think I'm really fast with uh, facial animation in particular. Which, if we get to that stage, we've got, we've got a couple hours left till I need to leave. But if we get to that stage today, then you'll see some techniques to speed up in that area. But in general, uh, I do think I'm quite fast because I worked in TV for a long time. And in TV, you have to be fast. Otherwise, you just drown. Okay. Let's look at these poses. Let me turn up. Wow. I didn't feel sick at all. Not once. Maybe a little bit more volume on there so you guys can hear a bit better. I realized how wow. quiet. I animate with I really quiet volume because you end up replaying Not it a lot. Once. Wow. I didn't feel sick at all. Not once. All right. So. At all. So why did I put this pose here instead of where the actual accent is? And the reason for that is I kind of viewing this as an overshoot from this pose before we settle back into this kind of default pose. So now what I'm going to do, well, actually, I, I would do I would do all of these main poses first and then I'd go back in. But for the sake of it. So I'm just going to add in this kind of 
overshoot because I think that's about where the weight drops a little bit here and then comes over to the side. So I kind of view this as the breakdown. So let's build this one in. So I'm just kind of building in the building blocks here. And because I've done this kind of spine reversal on each of these main poses, this should be easier. So let's just chuck a breakdown in. I'm going to bias this side. I'm going to drop him. I want this to be kind of a down overshoot. So like if you look at this square, it's kind of bobbing under. That's kind of what I'm going for here. Uh, and I kind of want to, I'm looking at the reference and I think he kind of arcs over in the X here. So let's do that. And I think I'm going to drag the Y a little bit and the Z a little bit, maybe. Cool. So the head's leading. I probably should have just animated the thing that was leading first. So let's maybe make this close to what it's going to be. Might even overshoot it over a bit. Give it somewhere to go. And the face, face is kind of leading. So let's open up the face in this direction. And the eyes are definitely leading. So I'm getting the eyes over there early. Cool. What else is happening? Chest kind of imploding on itself. <laughs> so I think maybe I'll, would I go down with that? What would I do with that? Can I arc that over? I'm thinking about this cross section in here and how that arcs that's kind of a, a thing i'm thinking about maybe i can overshoot this way as well okay and then we've got the shoulders are definitely leading a bunch they're kind of dropping and coming forward and these hands are mid mid kind of breaking down but i might drag a little bit some of this stuff so that it has somewhere to go, you know, and then what I can also do in here, for example, is close it a bit. And I think there's like a little, if I use the reverse of the spread, I can push the fingers closer together and that will allow me to just to get that kind of scooping motion in this breakdown. If you see that, it kind of all pulls in, in the breakdown and then settles on the other end. Uh, this arm is less drag than this arm. And I mean, there's a bit of a, it comes up here. So I need a pose in here to figure this arm out, I think, but we'll, we'll try, <laughs> we'll try something. We'll go over. Delay the wrist. Feel sick at all, not once right so it's not really a, a complete overshoot pose it's just kind of in there which model is your tablet uh i'm using a wacom intuos <laughs> there it is and then what i also have is a little one-handed keyboard whoops i knocked over some pens i have a little one-handed keyboard here can you see that is it in camera yes little one-handed keyboard uh and i have all my hotkeys on this my friend Owen, who's in chat, she told me why. So the reason I do that is so that I can have the tablet next to the uh, one-handed keyboard. I'm left-handed as well, so this helps. So instead of having to reach over for the tablet, it's next to each other. And that's just a lot better for strain through the day. And you don't have this broken spine posture. You're kind of straight on and flat. I think that's that's helped me a bunch. Signature shot of shots you enjoy animating the most. Uh, I like acting shots. I think acting shots are the most fun. I do like wacky stuff for sure. Cartoony stuff's really fun. Actiony stuff's fun. I think I think I'm probably at this point a bit more, a bit better at acting shots than at other stuff. But but I I do think I've still got some cartoony in me. Uh, so I think I'm gonna drag the Y. Maybe or maybe I want to push the Y just for contrast so that he can kind of look over his shoulder a bit more here. I think that's a bit more, a bit more cool. Cool, so let's get some more breakdowns in here. I, I wanted to do this, which is kind of the top pose so that that arm makes sense. So let's do that. I think I'm gonna add a tiny ease towards the next pose in here. 
and then I might grab the spine and do a little trick. What I like to do is I use blend infinite with uh, blend to infinity, which is control alt on here. Maybe a tiny bit. And then what that's gonna do is just continue what that difference was through here. I don't want it to be too much, but basically it's just continued this over a bit. So that I don't hit a wall during this hold. And I'm also gonna arc it because that's fun in it. All right, so let's figure this out. I think uh, I'll blend these. I don't want the shoulder to be coming down yet. So I'm gonna keep that. I think the hand's actually compressing already, which is cool. I like that from a reference. So I'm taking bits and pieces from my reference, starting to compress the hand. Uh, and yeah, this arm needs to come up. So he kind of does like a double gesture in here, which we'll figure out. So let's let's get this arm up, which would also translate to the shoulder coming up a little bit. And the hands kind of come in a bit as well. It's kind of twinning a bit here, but that's fine. And then, yeah, I want to delay, you know, this arm more than that arm in here. So that's what I've just done there. I want to keep this going so i'm looking at this cross section and making sure that through this pose it's still going up and settling up um and maybe even in the z a little bit as well just so it doesn't run out of places to go yeah and we'll keep the we'll keep the face mostly the same for this part and then we'll go in and figure that out after i didn't feel sick at all not once wow I didn't feel sick at all. So we've got the the cog coming down here in the head, but the arms aren't hitting their bottom position. I'm kind of fleshing out this area more than maybe I would, but I want it to work with just the key poses before we go any deeper. I think that will make, make it a lot easier for me when we get further in. Just gonna arc this over a little bit during this part. I'm just looking at that intersect that cross section again i'm just tracking that so that's how i track rotates at least until i get to more polishy stages right so let's maybe how many frames is this maybe we'll go six frames up and add a little settle and then we'll have this as the down point of the arms and like the cog can continue its arc we gotta drag it in the y a little bit Oops. So I'm not using the graph editor at this point. Uh, I kind of do a cleanup pass. I do like all of this by eye, and then I do a big cleanup pass afterwards. So I want these to kind of even overshoot back um, the arms. And I definitely want this wrist to get around. Um, you can drag a little bit, but not too much. Uh, yeah, and this would be down at the shoulders as well because the, they're connected to the arms. And then this is kind of overshooting around. Uh, doesn't really overshoot around actually. It kind of settles up that way. So let me. So I just track that again, right? And it's continuing around that way. But maybe it'll be down on this one. Maybe I can figure out an arc for it. Uh, I kind of want to, I think I'm going to overshoot it around. I think it's a bit more visually interesting. What's the head doing at this point? I'll continue that arc around. So you see that little cross section kind of continues around during this part. Uh, and then the chest. Chest is super linear through here if you look at this arc. So I'm going to push it up. Feel sick at all. Not once. Sick at all. Not once. So the timing's super linear and stuff, but I'll get to that kind of after I get the main main stuff in there. Uh, have you ever had a shot that was daunting to take on and how would you get through it? Oh, loads. <laughs> you just bash your head against the wall. Uh, getting notes though, getting other people's eyes that have a fresh look at it will do wonders because you know, they don't have to be the best anime in the world either, even if it's like a student friend of yours or something. Just getting extra eyes that can see it fresh 
is such a huge help uh and they, they can give you notes and work for it uh you'll never lose the cartoony it's always going to be stored in your head <laughs> yeah i think so man uh what do you think about ed hook stuff his book i haven't actually read his book uh i imagine it's very good for for the acting and getting into character for shooting reference and that sort of thing uh i was supposed to go to he had a master class at fmx that i went to one year but i was too hungover <laughs> because i was a drunkard student but one day i'd love to to learn learn more of the you know the actual traditional acting stuff i think that would be great yeah, that's I'm just looking at this neck because I haven't touched it I think it's kind of still in here but I want to break it up from the body a little bit sick at all not once not one, one, one. so let's find some key poses in here right one. so he's kind of moving through this again so I might go to the end like the reference runs out on this frame which is a bit annoying but yeah i might go to the end and figure out this pose figure out the weight how that's moved across screen and then what i'll do is i'll go in and make this up on the accent as a breakdown so it's the same thing that i did here i had this pose and i wanted to figure out where the weight had completely finished which was about here uh, so i did that pose and then i went in and added the breakdowns in what? to kind of fill the gaps so i'm going to do the same thing here I think I'm stepping in my reference, so I'm gonna do a little step, put his weight kind of over on this leg. Cool. So because he's stepping on this leg, we can get his weight going this way and we can go from this pose, which is opening in a C shape that way into a pose, which is the opposite. And that way we get contrast between the two. So you can see how I've kind of changed from my reference to help with that. Which is pretty important, I think. So I'm going to get his weight on that leg. Kind of adjusting things. Let's get the arm bit more out of the way. I think I've made him a bit too unbroad by turning him so much, but we'll figure that out. Maybe we can get this arm a bit out of the way. Yeah, I think I've turned him so much that he looks a bit strange now. <laughs> but contrast wise, I think it works. I think it's quite cool. Uh, so yeah, because we're kind of going onto this side, I'm going to get him that way. And he's going this way, so I need to lean him back. That's one thing I've not done. Because he's going forward in space, he needs to lean back to keep his weight kind of upright. Because right then I wasn't having it upright too much. I think this is a Mario Kart song. It's a banger. I move my head angle around a lot in real life when I'm trying to figure out <laughs> head angles. Uh, do you have any books you'd recommend for animators? Uh, I guess um, the Animator Survival Kit. <laughs> well, that's the basic one, isn't it? Uh, um, I'm not too sure about other stuff. I'm not really a books kind of guy, personally. I learn a lot more through video and that sort of thing and i definitely learned a bunch from aaron who's in chat he's got a little youtube channel he's got some good youtube videos on, on some posing and some analysis stuff which is cool and uh, my friend owen was also in chat earlier he started a channel recently i think it's owen fernie on youtube and he's got some good body mechanic stuff in there which helped me a bunch and then there's all the people that have been doing it for a while like john Denis house and some other people We've got good videos. So what's he saying here? Let's remind ourselves. Because oh, I'm just not once. Wow. I didn't feel sick at all. Not once. 
So yeah, his weight's coming over. Uh, I think he's still two turn, <laughs> but that's kind of how I've got him. Maybe we could have his head kind of accent up. So I'm not using the reference too much. It's there for general, you know, it's there for, for a general idea of things. But maybe, I know that he's going to be gesturing with this arm during the movement. So, you know, we'll figure something out. I'm going to set a key one up from this. And I think what I'm going to do is I can have him move less. So I'm going to scale that back in the cog. I don't think he needs to move quite as far. And then I'm going to get rid of that key. So I have a, a hotkey which scales to neighbor left. It's, it's, it's a hotkey based off scales neighbor left, this slider here, shift middle click on the left one on Animbot. So that I can basically push things up to the neighbor left or back to the neighbor left. Uh, that's how I do it. So that's where I actually want to be, I think. Yeah. But yeah, his weight's coming up, so we'll do that. And we'll contrast that in the chest. Cool. So let's look at these wow. poses. I didn't feel sick at all. Not once. Wow. <laughs> okay, that I... there's barely any contrast between these two looking at it. <laughs> oh, did the head I swear I had some stuff on the head that just disappeared. I think that's part of it. Maybe I accidentally deleted half of the controls. Oh no. I might have. Let me undo a bunch. Yeah, this is the actual pose, wasn't it? Yes. Cool. I think I accidentally deleted some stuff, but I just undid a bunch to get to it. Don't really like some of this stuff, I think. Sure. We're we're fiddling. Let's use the hips to add to these C and reverse C shapes real quick. I think this is actually going into reverse in here. And then this one is, oh, is this the reverse? Am I stupid? I think I'm stupid. Yeah, this is going this way. I'm just dumb. Cool. At all, not once. What? Cool, all right. Uh, I don't like this pose, but I think I'm just gonna work around it and end up with something nice. That's my plan. <laughs> I'm just hoping. As I say, it's just a test. We'll end up with something nice. His eye line completely changes, that's part of it. And obviously the face and stuff I need to actually pose out. There you go. Marcus has given loads of uh <laughs> loads of recommendations in chat. You should definitely listen to Marcus, he's a good animator. What's he saying? Sharon Aaron <laughs> Aaron Owen and Johnny Beast, exactly. Uh what everybody is saying in Creativity Inc. Not animation technique related, but found very interesting. Yeah, Creativity Inc. I know of a lot. It's kind of about mindset of <laughs> the creative process, which I think is pretty cool. Uh, gotta go. No worries, buddy. First time on one of your streams. <laughs> it's been fun. Good, good. Glad you enjoyed. Uh, highly recommend Aaron. Has a great mixture of inside stories about uh fix one yeah this is about creative eating keith lango videos yeah they're all on youtube now yeah i actually like those quite a lot they're some old school old school videos not once wow i didn't feel sick at all not once right so that's once. let's get this big up for once and then 
that's kind of the main key poses at that point and then we can just start breaking things up so i'm gonna bias this pose a bunch he's kind of going stepping over at this point i think i imagine the leg is already gone because his weight needs to go onto it uh Cool. I'm gonna break this down around in the cog the head. I like the little accent that I do where I look away for a second I think that's cool. So let's keep that in there Then we can look back at the, the geezer he's talking to So yeah, we opened up We went from compressed in the eye mask here to open and then when we do this one again With everything coming up. I'm gonna compress again so Maybe I can use this as a starting point. Just as a starting point until I go in and do an actual face pass. I think that would be cool. Uh, this arm's kind of opening up and out. Still not too comfortable with FK and what to do with it. I'm figuring it out slowly. So yeah, to go along with that shoulder up, I want the chest to go up. Maybe we can cheat the chest over a little bit. Make sure that the arc makes sense. Right now there is no arc. Let's look at this one maybe. Yeah, it's kind of arcing okay. Let's look at this one. So I'm looking at these cross sections and making sure they're kind of arcing and that way the graph editor all makes sense a lot more. I think we can push the head forward with the neck during this accent. Cool. So let's open his hand up. Oh yeah, the channel box who made <laughs> the people that made this on Twitch have been doing good streams. I've actually learned a bunch from them. There's someone to watch as well. They're the the guys behind that are also the guys that made this rig, and I completely forgot to talk about them. What a fool. Uh, so yeah, I'm just kind of roughing in using the graph, the uh, not the graph, studio library to get something in there. So this is going to be a bit awkward because it's just going back and in on itself. I'm going to try and continue some of it across. Cool. Hips, what are they doing? We can kind of delay that. I think maybe we can get over a bit more during this. It's a bit still in screen space. I don't know what this hand is doing. It's just kind of staying there, which is kind of lame. I don't know what to do with it. I can just arc it. <laughs> what to do with arm? I don't know. Tense it a little bit and then relax it. Maybe I can open it up during the transition. And that way it has something to do at least. Not once. Wow. I didn't feel sick at all. Not once. Wow. Right, I think it goes down way too much here. We're getting there. Rick review dropping when? Well, this is the review. You guys as you can see how it works. <laughs> that sort of thing. Tom Holland dialogue piece. You got a cool voice. It would fit this character perfectly. He kind of looks like Tom Holland, right? Right. What's the chest doing through here? Yeah, the chest is kind of just linear. That's. I kind of want to go in and then back out again, actually. Let's do that. Not once. Wow. I didn't feel sick at all. Not once. Yeah, I don't really think these poses are too appealing. 
uh, either of these two. This one's not awful, but it's not super appealing to me. I need to figure it out. Maybe if I was a good anime, I'd, <laughs> I'd know what I was doing. <laughs> I think it's partly because of the shoulder. I want to open that up more. I think I've made him too the opposite of broad. I don't know what the opposite of broad is. Skinny, maybe. I'll try and make that arc around a bit nicer through this movement. And then it at least has somewhere to go. I'm not having it come back in like my reference. I don't think that works. Great, I think that will be a bit awkward. Not once. Wow. I didn't feel sick at all. Not once. Hmm. Don't need that to come up quite as much there. It's quite contrasting. Oh, not once. Wow. I didn't feel sick at all. Not once. I think I need him to come over here so that his headspace doesn't go too mental. So I can lead that over. And that way his kind of head doesn't come back on itself too much. Not once. Wow. I didn't feel sick at all. Not once. Wow. I didn't feel sick at all. Not once. All right, cool. So we got some keys in here. I, I mean, it's not perfect, but... If this was a real production shot, I would spend more time making these poses work. We've kind of got the acting in there. It's doing what it needs to be doing. So let's add a little settle at the end. I'm just gonna grab his spine, blend to infinite a little bit more. So he has somewhere to go. Same with the head, I guess. We'll keep that arcing around. Uh, Keep the shoulder going where it was going. <laughs> I'm just blending to infinite everything so that has a little cell on it, I guess. I'll just do that with the back arm as well. A little bit of a blend so it has somewhere to go. There you go. And then I'll make sure that things kind of working in arc a bit more. Kind of hits a wall in there, so I'll overshoot it and then it can sell back a little bit on itself. Look at this cog. Kind of doesn't know where it's going, does it? I'm sure that when I get into the curves, this will be <laughs> this will be a bit janky. Maybe we can go over and arc that over. So yeah, I'm trying to make sure that things are working so that when once. Wow. I start breaking things down, things fall into place Not a lot once. easier. Wow. I didn't feel sick at all. Not once. Okay, but we've got keys in here. I'm going to cough real quick because my throat hurts. <coughs> Looks nice. Thanks, man. We've got a question. First time viewer. How's it going to go? On? When animating a character with uh, a two-hand sword, how would you organize the hierarchy of parents? And would you animate the arms with FK or an IK? I would use the IK for that kind of thing, for sure. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I would use IK. I would constrain one of the hands uh, onto it. <laughs> and then I would... I'm trying to think what I would do with that. I would constrain it so the big sword follows one of the hands. And maybe I'd create a setup where the other hand follows, but then you also have an extra control. You have to kind of do a little bit of a locator thing with that. You can use... Uh, grab release space with Aninbot's temp controls if you have Aninbot and that would help that a bunch. If not, then you have to kind of create a little hierarchy with locators parented and such so that you have th this following this but then you have another controller to move this separately. And ideally you'd have another controller to move this separately as well so that you can break things up. Uh, it sounds like a bit of a complicated setup but I think that's... hopefully that makes sense. What's the cog doing? Hello coggy. <laughs> my favorite Twitch viewer. I don't know if that's talking about my terrible cog animation in here or 
what we're talking about. Wow, I didn't feel sick at all, not once. But yeah, here you go. Here are the key poses. I think these get the main point across. I mean, uh, stuff like this, I obviously haven't touched the face. I just gave him a random, random thing. And when I go in and actually do the sync, it will be quite different. Uh, I don't want to cover up more than like half of his pupils, otherwise it looks a bit broken. But maybe we can break that up from that by not having it quite as thing. I think these kind of almond shapes look cool, but I might simplify them a little bit um, so that you don't get the tear duct as pronounced. I think it was these two controllers, so I'll keep those for those. Cool. Cool. So let's, I'm going to save, I'm going to iterate my save in here. Uh, so I'm going to save this as number three. I did actually make a file for this, so I'll put it in here. So it's number three now. Cool. All right, so let's go into some breakdowns. Yay. Uh, this is quite a quick move. I might do it on threes. Uh, so I'm going to bias this side a little bit. Although we're kind of, I'm going to bias the next pose. And the reason I'm doing that is because we're kind of coming into the shot in motion. So I don't want to stay in this ugly pose. I just want to bias into this pose. And then we can think about things that are dragging like the head and the face is dragging. So I'm going to just put that back to where it was on that frame. Maybe we can have the brow start to ease out. Right. Uh, the arms kind of leading up. That's cool. I feel like the chest is probably going to drag in here because we're kind of flicking out from the cog up. Don't want that head arc to be as janky as that though. Uh, maybe we can break down in here. So we're breaking down under and I'm going to put it in arc, nudge it over a little bit into some kind of arc. Kind of looks like the head is still, so I'm going to use the neck a little bit to pull that up. I still want to drag the head though, so. But it just needs to. I think because I'm going under. Maybe I'm going too far under. Maybe I can go over. Maybe I'll go over. Alright, let's figure out this arm arc. I'll put it in a bit so that it arcs in and around. And we can drag maybe the the bottom half of it a little bit maybe not too much just a little bit in there shoulder can lead that up a little bit uh this one what's happening not too sure have the shoulder lead it and go over and then we can have the arm swing in maybe and then back out we'll figure it out See, this is what I mean when I don't know how to use FK. <laughs> what, do, what do you even do with these things? I can drag the wrist. There you go. I drag the wrist. I drag something. Maybe I can keep this delayed a bit so that his spine shape catches up when his weight takes over on that leg. Wow. Cool. Wow. So let's do another three frames. I'm just going to go through. For this more, more quick movement, I'm going to do it on freeze. So let's go to the cog again. We were kind of arcing over. I don't want it to be flat like it is here. I'm going to figure out. At this point, I probably should get the graph editor open <laughs> and actually make things work. But uh, I'm stuck in my old TV ways, I think. All right. And the arms kind of mostly here at this point. But I'm going to look at this intersection and arc it around this way. So let's do that. maybe delay the wrist if anything the head can still be dragging because that was dragging the most on the last bit but yeah the face can start to open up uh cool let's look at some other body parts what's the chest doing chest was dragging i believe 
and it's coming way no 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 i'm just looking at the wrong thing so maybe we can overshoot him this way just to give it a bit of an arc in there and drag it a little bit as well wow i didn't feel wow okay wow. that's really slow <laughs> i'll probably put it on twos and i kind of wow. want to overshoot wow wow cool let's put this on threes uh maybe we'll put it on twos just because it's quite quick it's got a lot of energy i think in the audio wow wow cool so now i can go in and add more cells i guess you could go one in echo sword oh yeah you're talking about the uh Blends it infinite just like using overshoot sliders. I think so. I think it's basically the same thing, but you can, it's the infinite sliders would be like, I guess you could do infinite with the blend and it would do the same thing, maybe. Yeah, I think you're right, Anne. I'm gonna add more eases in here. I'm biasing obviously the final pose because I want it to continue to sell. I wanna have this maybe overshoot a bit more and have a little bit of hang time and then settle, I think. Okay, let's we can definitely overshoot this arm. So like that goes over and then settles back. Same with the shoulder. Yeah, overshoot it on this frame for the shoulder and then I can have a little settle in there. So I'll end up going in and cleaning up all of this stuff with the graph editor anyway, but I'm just kind of getting, trying to get the general, <laughs> general thing going, you know? Wow. Wow. Okay. So the head, what's the head doing? The head's been dragging for a while. I don't want it to be too draggy. Maybe I can drag it this way and then open it up. Just trying to find ways of arcing it around in an interesting manner. Wow. I didn't. Wow. 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 Okay. This arm is doing a mental overshoot straight away. So let's turn that down and then we can have it happen in here. Wow. I didn't feel sick. Wow. Wow. Yeah, I think the mask in general can overshoot. That's kind of broken looking. I think. I think I need to open it up and then have it compressed. There you go. Wow. I didn't. Wow. 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 wow, wow, wow. Cool. This back arm's gonna get a bit janky, I think. So let's make sure that we give it somewhere to go. Wow. I didn't wow. 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 Cool. So I think I've got past the fast action part of this now. I'm gonna start going on threes uh, for the cell so that the cell's a bit more spread out. Cool. So the head can overshoot over. Wow. I didn't. Wow. 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 Kind of going into breaking up lots of different parts at this point. Wow. I didn't feel. Wow. 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 Maybe I can overshoot the the X and Z in here a little bit. Wow. I didn't Wow. 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 Kind of feels a bit weightless. Right. Let's start looking at the graph a bit more. <laughs> and I don't really need the reference too much at this point. Yeah, that works, that's fine. 
and then this is overshooting. But then look at this. So I've got some dodgy noise in here. So I'm just going to settle like that. Z. Uh, okay. Just going to make sure that that's clean. I would usually wait till spline to do this, which I probably should, because otherwise I'm going to take way wow. too long. I didn't feel. Wow. 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 Um, but yeah, let's drag this guy and then overshoot him. Maybe we can have him do a little arc in there. Wow. I did wow. 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 There you wow. go. A little bit of breakup. Nice. So that's kind of a little pose to pose. Buy followers. Oh no. Where are the mods at? <laughs> Has this guy been banned? I can ban him. Block. All right, they've been blocked. Got ahead. No worries, buddy. See you later. <laughs> slash ban. Okay, I have to do slash ban and then this to ban someone. Okay. Boom. Banned. They're banned. They're gone forever. Oh, Nana's already done it. <laughs> Thank you, Nana. Oh, and for mod, can I make you a mod? How do I do it? Uh, how would I make someone a mod? Marcus, you know Twitch. Ban, I can ban you. I can time you out. I can mod you. There you go. I guess I'll mod Marcus as well. You guys have power now. Don't overuse it. Mods were playing Zelda. <laughs> Is that what you've been up to? Wow. Okay, so, so yeah, let's look at this. Uh, let's get the reference back up again. So I think until until about here, he's just kind of going to be holding in this pose. So I'm going to blend this back a little bit so that this has somewhere to go. I'm going to go get some water quickly as well, and I'll be right back. My throat is getting warm. We're back. Hopefully you didn't hear me have a coughing fit in the background. <laughs> I guess that's what's happened. Wow. Wow. I didn't feel... I didn't... Right. So I'm going to ease out of this one now. We're going to start to get into this one. Uh... <laughs> I'll look at your Zelda memes in a minute. Got a mod, but then got an advert. Feels bad. <laughs> right, so I'm going to ease out of this. What's leading? The arm here is definitely not leading, so I'm going to bring that back. This arm's kind of leading, which I'm fine with. Uh, let me get this out of the way. But we can make sure this is kind of arcing. Keep it in that arc, but I'm going to scale it down. This kind of tension in here is, is what's leading, I think. Uh, yeah, I think that's the right movement. It's just too much, so I'm going to scale that back. I've got a little head shake in here, but that's fine. We can add a little eye dart or something in here. Get him looking over here. Cool. Uh, what's the cog doing? Cog is just going up, which I think maybe instead we can go down and arc it that way. Keep this back. Cool. So there's a little ease out. Did I do anything on the chest? Probably not. Maybe we can start to have that come in this way and then it can arc around. Because that shoulder is kind of leading it up, so it kind of rolls around that way. So let's do this one on three because I don't think it's quite as fast as that first one. Uh, I'm going to ease out of this. 
maybe a bit more in the middle. So let's continue this head shake thing that's happening. Kind of arcing that way. Cool. This arm's starting to lead, which is cool. I think I'll lead that more than what I have in the reference. I'll keep that arc coming around. Uh, shoulders might be a bit too much for this part of the movement. This arm in particular, I'm going to hold back because I want to break up the arms. So I'm going to have that. That's going to arc under. I'm just going to make sure that arc starts to get defined. Cool, what's the chest doing? Chest is gonna arc that way, isn't it? So, cool, I'm just gonna continue that arcing around that way so then it has somewhere to go. I didn't feel sick at all, not once. Wow, I didn't feel sick at all. Wow, wow, I didn't feel sick. Cool, we're starting to break things down. It's starting to come together slowly. So let's add another breakdown in here. This one can be dead in the middle. That's fine. I think we'll continue this arcing under and then in here we can start to come up. Cool, let's arc this under. Let's have this arm. Arcing over. I want to lead. I want to get this hand pose kind of mostly there through here. I want to lead with that a bit more. And then this one is arcing under. At the moment it's arcing over. So I'm just going to arc that under. Find a breakdown in there for it. <coughs> I think the fingers again here, I want to lead them. Cool. Let's loosen this up a bit. I think I still want to delay the shoulders a bit. Just so that we've got somewhere to go. Chest. So right now it's really linear, so I'm going to break that down underneath. I didn't feel sick at I didn't feel sick at all. Wow. I didn't feel sick at all. Not once. Wow. I didn't feel sick at all. Cool. We're getting that. I didn't feel sick. So let's keep adding eases. More eases. We're still on freeze. We're gonna bias this pose at this point. Cool. So it's super linear because I just chucked the knees in there. So now same process it's always the same process we go in we break up different parts and then when we start cleaning things up we break it up even more i might overshoot this a bit i'm looking at this little square and how that relates to the arc because that's like the translation arc and then this cross section in here is kind of like the rotation arc which is super linear on the cog right here which i'm not the biggest fan of so maybe i'll have it contrast and then Go under. Just gave it somewhere to go. Cool. Let's look at these arms. This is kind of opening up and then closing again, which is quite cool. I want to get that in there from the reference. Make sure that this is still arcing around. I'm looking at that cross section again. This little pump light in here might be a bit much. Kind of doing a little hold in there. Cool. The head arc is coming around, but it kind of stops here dead. Look, so it comes around and then stops dead. So I'm going to keep that going. There you go. I didn't feel sick at all. Little circles. I didn't feel sick at all. Not wow. I didn't feel sick at all. 
cool so you can start to see it coming together <laughs> i hope <laughs> if you have any questions about this kind of part this is kind of what most people in the traditional pose to pose workflow would consider blocking plus i don't think i actually did this arm as part of that last bit so let me make that all an arc Cool. that looks like it's an arc now and maybe I can overshoot this and then it can sell back through that part and then the wrist let's have a quick look at it I'm gonna drag it I'm gonna drag it it's gonna catch up as it goes Just gonna make sure that it drags. I'm looking at the graph out of there and making sure that it kind of drags and then catches back up. I think that's kind of cool. I didn't feel sick at all, not once. Wow, I didn't feel sick at all, not once. Wow, wow, I didn't feel sick at all, not sick. So yeah, when uh, during this move, it looks like I forgot to have this arm end up getting towards this position, which is where it actually needs to get towards. So I'm going to start easing that through here. I'm just going to blend it and then I'll figure out the arc. I didn't feel sick at all. Not once. I didn't feel sick at all. Okay. So let's continue this arc. Just going to look at it, make sure that it makes sense. Cool. I didn't feel sick at all. Not I didn't feel sick at all. Not once. Wow. I didn't feel sick at all. Not once. Wow. I didn't feel sick at all. Not once. We're getting there. Uh, let's make sure that certain things are still arcing like this. Just keep it doing little circles. And the chest. So that's arcing that way now. Nice. I didn't feel sick at all. Not once. Wow. I didn't feel sick at all. So I might just chuck a four in here because I don't have space for two threes. Well, I do, but then that'll be on a two. And then I'll just have this easing quite, quite a bit into this one. But for this sake, I'm going to make sure that this just continues this arc before it starts to go into its next kind of pose to pose. Uh, this arm, I kind of just want to carry through. Do I? Oh no, I can have that hold. That's fine. Let's make sure the arc works though. Cool, and then this, I might delay a little bit so that has somewhere to go. And then the wrist is kind of stiff through here, so let's maybe overshoot it and then it can start to come back on itself. Maybe, mm, maybe not. <laughs> we'll figure something out. Feel sick at all, not once. Wow, I didn't feel sick at all, not once. Wow, I didn't feel sick at all. Not once. Wow, I didn't feel sick at all. We're getting there. Yo, how's it going? First time chat. Tony for Peach. Doing a blocking out for 11 seconds, love. Uh, a little confused about which poses I should block first. Just joined the stream, but it seems like uh, you were doing both in between and key poses at the same time, right? Uh, I kind of started with main key poses, uh, which were... I just chucked pose here. I started with this pose because I felt like this was a key because he kind of holds in here for a while. 
Uh, the next one was somewhere in here, because he was holding in here for a while. And then I had one where the weight had finished over here, and then I have these three at the end as well. But that's just for this transition. It's kind of just where the main wow. movement holds, or at least where you can think that you can put a hold in there. Reference is always more swimmy than what actual animation, at least in my opinion, should end up like. You should end up a bit more wow. holding in nice so poses and such. That's why often you hear people saying that student work feels swimmy is because if you stick to your reference fully, you end up with, uh, you know, different pieces moving. I just ran out of my train of thought then. <laughs> it's because you're not actually staying in any poses and you're just slowly swimming between poses. I think that's why a lot of student work feels swimmy. Um, so what I try and do is find the main beats and then get to those poses, hold in them, do a little business in them, and then get out of them again. At all. Not once. Wow. I didn't feel sick at all. I didn't feel sick at all. Cool. I feel like this could arc over a bit nicer. At all. Not once. Cool. Wow. So let's continue to break this down. All. Not once. Wow. I didn't feel sick at all. Not once. Wow. I didn't feel sick at all. Not once. Cool. We're getting there. It's it's slowly breaking down different parts. So we got to about here. So I might do this on threes for now. So I've set a key there. I'm going to get rid of this one and that pose is going to happen here and that way we can start to have the motion in here. I'm going to start to build this in. So I'm going to favor this pose, the one that we're coming out of and we're going to start to figure stuff out. So for example, the eyes are definitely going to be leading. So I'm going to get the eyes over to where they're going to go and the head starting to lead as well. The shoulders are definitely leading a bunch in here. So I'm going to start them coming out. Uh, I think we need to drag some of this stuff a bit like this. Same on this side, we're going to drag a bunch. Cool. And I think we can break it up by having one shoulder lead more than the other. And then the chest. Keep that arc continuing from last time. Whoops. Yeah, it looks like we're arcing over actually. So maybe on this one we can start to come up for that over to make sense. Cog. Cog's kind of, I'm going to hold that back more and then it gives us at all. to go. Not feel sick at all. Not once. I didn't feel sick at all. Not once. Wow. I didn't feel sick at all. Not once. Wow. I didn't feel sick at all. Sick at all. I think I want this to be snappier. Uh, so I'm going to put it on two. At all. At all. At all, not sick at all. Not so because of that, I'm going to bring this pose closer, and that way we have somewhere to go. So maybe I'll just put this four frames away, and then we can add a breakdown in there, break up some things before we get to this bottom point. So we're still going to be. Are we going to be favoring? Where are we going to be favoring here? I think we're going to favor the bomb actually. So let's favor the bomb. So it's this side of the swing machine favors the bomb. But then we're going to break things up in here. So let's figure stuff out. Uh, I think I want to go this way with this arm because that'll be a bit easier to follow. 
cool so let's this arm's leading versus the other arm but that's fine i want to drag the rotate around in that though cool the head was leading in here so let's keep that arcing around so it's got somewhere to go cog kind of overshooting down so i'm going to continue that downwards movement so that he has somewhere to go at all not feel, feel sick at all i didn't feel sick at all i didn't feel sick at all so yeah that arm needs to continue and settle around because it hits well hard at the moment let's look at the chest what's the chest doing huh i think i want to break that down over like that so I'm looking at this intersection, it's going to arc over that way. Cool. Yeah, I'm going to have the proper overshoot in this frame for the shoulders, and then they can come back at up. At all. Not cool. once. So I need more eases wow. in there. I didn't feel sick at all. No. But the main kind of movement is, is there. We just need to refine it. So let's start to favor this pose, this end pose, and figure out what's happening. Uh, will live stream be on Twitch for a few days? Yeah, I think it stays for a few months, man. So you can go back and watch it. I should really upload them to, to YouTube as well, but I'm a fool and I'm lazy. <laughs> I might have him overshoot up again and then so just at all not once feel sick at all not I didn't feel sick at all i think i want to delay this arm more so let's keep the arc that we've got we're just going to scale it back cool so then let's overshoot this arm when we hit the bottom here Cool. Making sure that's kind of arcing and going nicely. Oh, not at all. Not sick at all. I didn't feel sick at all. Not one. I didn't feel sick at all. Cool. So what else can we do? Make sure that this is arcing nicely. Uh, this back arm, I guess we can figure out. Some kind of cool settle for it. Oh, not one feel sick at all. Nothing feel sick at all. Right. More keys, more refinement. <laughs> That's basically the process. Just keep going through, keep adding keys, keep refining. I'm going to keep easing towards, you know, the final pose over here. I might drag this one and then overlap it. Same with the wrist. So the wrist can drag in here and then take a little bit to catch up. What's the shoulder doing in here? Oh, not one at all. Not at all. Not at all. So it's a bit at all. Bit broken at the moment, I think. Uh, this is not moving enough. Oh, not one sick at all. Yeah, not I need quite a few keys all. in there to not figure out that at all. little Didn't floppy arm sick so at all. Didn't feel sick at all. Didn't feel sick at all. Didn't feel sick at all. Not feel sick at all. Not cool. Let's put um, continue the arc in this back arm though. What's it doing, huh? I have that ease back. Cool. And that 
wrist can drag. Oh, not feel sick at all. No, I didn't feel sick at all. I didn't feel sick at all. I didn't feel sick at all. Cool. Let's add more keys. More keys. <laughs> more settle. And break up and the rest of it. Cool. Oh, not want at all. So yeah, not I think all. that's not doing all. kind of what I wanted to do. All. It's just doing way too at much. All. So I'm, I'm gonna add the break up in, but then uh, I'll show you a little trick. So I think this movement works in this arm, uh, but from these keys back to this one, it's too much. So I'm gonna select the keys in the middle and I'm gonna use push pull on here. Uh, and what that does is it scales all of these, uh, it scales the difference between all of these backwards, basically. If that sounded rubbish, but you'll see. So if I pull this back, it's got less distance to go, but it's kept Not the kind all. of break up. At all. Not at all. Not so I have that at break up in the Not relationships of the different Not parts, at but Not it's nice. Not at now. all. Not at all. And that shoulder's not nice right now, so I'm going to clean that up. Not work at all. Not sick at all. Not feel sick at all. Not. I didn't feel sick at all. Not. I didn't feel sick at all. Cool. So we've got a lot of keys here, and we've only really tracked the arms through it. So I'm gonna do a pass on some other bits, like the head arc in here, for example. So that's gonna arc around this way, maybe. Cool. So I'm just gonna blend that to infinite, and that way, it kind of continues that arc around. Oh, not what at all. Not at all. At all. It looks like he's not doing a little all. circle with his head, which I think is too much. So what I'll do is I'll find one like this one here, and then I'm just gonna scale these back. So look. Not at all. Not at so that all. arc isn't quite as much. So I didn't feel sick at all. Not feel sick at all. Not once. Wow. I didn't feel sick at all. Not once. So we're getting there. We're, we're breaking things up slowly, figuring it out. Uh, play as you swipe through my friends. Yeah. So this is Keyframe Pro, uh, and it has a little tool, which comes with it, Keyframe Sync, and you can sync up. So this is like syncing up from minus 99 friends onwards and what that means is that you can uh have reference attached to your my scene without it being heavy because it would be heavy if it was in uh Maya, right like image planes are notoriously heavy whereas this kind of thing is going to allow you to <laughs> not have not have that heaviness basically all right so these arm swings uh this one's kind of working now but this back one isn't so i think what i'm going to do is i'm going to look at the graph because that's going to give me a good idea of what's actually happening here I think maybe I should have it a bit smoother and have the overshoot happen a bit later. At all. Not one feel sick at all. No, I didn't feel sick at all. So let's look at some other channels. Look at this one. This one's getting nuts, right? So that definitely needs some cleanup. What's happening? This is the in and out. So I'm having it come in and then it's popping back out. So instead, let's have it not pop back out. Let's have it settle nicely doing a little mini overshoot in there so maybe i can start to ease this out earlier as well i'll go in and clean my curves Sick properly when all. i get to no. spline but i just like to make sure that things at least make a bit of sense so it's easing out quite hard to hear but then it's popping back so maybe i can have that overshoot ease back and then sell in here i would maybe clean that up a bunch at all not once yep wow cool. and then we'll look at that I wrist as well because that wrist all. is still not broken so let's look at the wrist channels again this one's pretty clean what's happening here it's going back on itself which i think kind of looks cool for the breakdown and then yeah it can start to ease out and we can basically i think it'd be cool if this overshot a little bit we ease into an overshoot here and then ease it back 
What was that? Not once. Okay, it's, fl at it's all. very floppy. At all. <laughs> yeah, but I think that's the. Let's look at the gimbal, which rotate is doing the floppiness. I think it's the Z. What's happening in the Z? So yeah, graph graph stuff's a bit more boring, but that's kind of that's part of the process. Is it not the Z? Is it the? Is it the Y? Oh, the Y looks proper janky. Let's look at this. So this is dragging. At this point, it stops dragging, but instead, I think I'll have it continue to drag, then ease back out, and then it can overshoot in here and then settle back. Oh, which not should be a bit better. At all. Not, I didn't feel sick at all. Not, I didn't feel okay. sick at all. That kind of works. We're getting there. I love your workflow. Thanks so much. Uh, this part I'm struggling with the most when animating, doing all the blocking and stuff. And I understand now that I need to put a lot more keyframes in this part. Some people don't. Some people work and they go straight into spline and I don't understand them at all. But for me, I, you know, I go in a lot and I'll do twos, threes wow. and fours basically for everything. It's a fast motion like this. It's on twos. I don't mind holding something like this and then adding in extra. <laughs> So I think like this is on threes, this is fast again, so it's on twos again. And then basically what happens is when you press spline, you don't lose all of that information. You're not giving the computer too much to figure out itself. Uh, it kind of figures itself out because you've given it all the information it needs. And then all you're doing is cleaning things up when you get into spline and breaking things up more and polishing and that sort of thing, you know. Uh, but I don't even work this way all the time. But for this kind of shot, I would. Kind of depends on the type of shot as yeah, so to how I would work. At all. So we've still got more frames to ease into here. But maybe we'll start putting the eases on freeze because there's less motion happening now. Uh, I kind of want to do something for that knot. I don't actually have anything in the reference. Let's just keep this on two stuff it. So I'll just add one more ease in here. I think this might be doing a bit too much, so I'm just going to scale that back, and that way it doesn't. Not at all. Not at all. Not. I didn't, I didn't feel sick at all. Not once. Wow. I didn't feel sick at all. Not once. Wow. I didn't feel sick at all. Not once. So we're getting wow. through it. I didn't feel sick at all. Not once. You know, it's not. As pushed as maybe I could go with it, wow. I think certain I bits could be pushed a bit more. No. But for blocking plus, we're we're getting there, and we'll at push all. things when we get into spline a bit more. So I kind of want a head accent or something for the knot here. So I'm going to add an extra pose in here. Isn't in the reference, uh, but I kind of want it. And his weight starts to move over a little bit, so I'm going to. Ease this out a tiny bit just to give us a tiny bit of information. Um, but like, I don't want this arm to start going towards what the next thing is to So instead, I'm going to blend to infinite a tiny bit just so that that continues its ease. Nah. So, nah. So I kind of look away and up when I do this accent. So maybe for this one, for contrast, I'll look down and in like this. Not once. Wow. I didn't feel sick at all. Not once. Not so yeah. Uh, I think this stuff is probably moving way too much. But we can have... At all. Not once. I didn't feel sick at all. Not once. Not once. I think what might work better is to go for... A compressed eye mask shape for not, not once and then for once we can open back up again so I'm kind of changing up what my plan is here I'm gonna mirror this I'm just gonna take this for now not it doesn't need to be quite as much as that and then for that one for the once maybe we can go into a big open like we had here already but then open up to that side This is kind of like an internal moment. Uh, I want to see the whites of the eyes, I think. I think that'll be cool for contrast. Uh, again, I think his eyes, his eye ducts, I think what they're called, tear ducts. 
by default are a bit too pronounced. So I'm just going in and opening that up a bit, a little bit. Make sure that shape's nice. But you know, I'll, I'll get to the actual eye mask somewhere. Just not, not once. Wow, I didn't feel sick at all. Not once. Wow, once. Maybe I'll have that open up less as it comes in. And maybe we can do a half lid for the ending. I don't know. Just for contrast sake, I'm trying to make sure that the shapes are never too similar. Wow. I didn't feel sick at all. Not once. Wow. At all. Not once. Oh. So yeah, we've got this little accent in here. Uh, so let's, let's break down into that. Uh, I think we'll just ease into it. And then we can figure out some kind of head arc. So arc it that way. Don't know if I need to really do anything else. Maybe on this frame it can start to ease out just to break it up. But this is all stuff like I don't mind doing in spline and layering in. Not once. Wow. I didn't feel sick at all. Not once. Wow. I didn't feel sick at all. Not once. Wow. But we're I getting through it. Sick at all. Not <laughs> once. I'm surprised at how much wow. we've managed to get done this quickly. I didn't feel sick at all. Yes, it's partly Not a testament once. to how easy wow. the rig is to use. I didn't feel sick at all. Not once. Cool. Okay. So, so let's keep breaking down. At all. Not once. Wow. I didn't feel sick at all. Not once. What's the time? 510 so I need to finish at six so we got 50 minutes I think wow. what I'll try and do it is finish up this block and plus plus once and I'll be pretty happy to, to leave this for another stream wow at a block and plus stage at all not once once cool so I think maybe for another three frames in here we're basically just going to hold. And then, yeah, we're going to start coming up into this big once move. Maybe. Maybe that can overshoot. Doesn't really matter. I'm fiddling with stuff. I'll change a lot when it gets to spline. At all. Not once. Wow, I didn't feel sick at all. Not once. Cool. So let's let's maybe go and freeze here. Start to ease out of this pose. Start to figure out how we get into that nice up compressed thing. Uh, I think what would be cool is if I squish this eye mask more i think they might actually have cool squish they do they have squash in here which i sometimes use so that just saved me time basically but i think i want to keep the eye line there until he looks away cool let's put that in arc as well i'm gonna arc under Uh, I think the wrist can lead it, but I don't need to move the arm up too much. So that can start to lead around. I really don't know what to do with that back arm. It's just kind of stuck there. <laughs> um, this is starting to come around. I need to figure out what the arc's going to be for that so it doesn't get stuck. So I've just made sure that that continues to arc around at the end there as well. Once. Wow. I didn't feel sick at all. Not once. Wow. I didn't feel sick at all. Not once. Wow. I didn't feel sick at all. Not once. Cool. We're getting there. <laughs> 
This is crazy. I feel so noob right now. Uh, very big for two hours. Started from scratch at the start of the stream. Yeah. I had reference. I shot some reference just I before. Like at all. Not once. I animate. I think I animate faster when I talk about what I'm doing for some reason. I <laughs> just like get, in, get into it more. Very big for two hours, if so. Yeah, it is. Thank you, Marcus. I'm a quick boy. You worked with me in TV. Now I'm a fast boy. So I'm going to go on twos here. We're going to ease out on that three, but then I'm going to go into twos because it's a quicker movement. Uh, and I think I'm just going to chuck a breakdown in the middle here. And the arm is leading this for sure. So let's make sure that that is up. And the wrist was leading, wasn't it? The rotate of the wrist. So I'm going to continue to lead with that. And maybe start to tense this in. And that can arc that way. And then this can arc around like that. This back arm, I don't know what the hell it's doing. And I don't like it. <laughs> Terrible back arm. I'm just going to arc it. Okay, the head. Uh, was arcing under. It was compressing as well. The eye mask was compressing, which I think was quite cool. So I'm gonna ease out of that. Once, wow. But I can lead with the eyes for that turning in there. So let me get the eyes over. Cool. Let's look at other body parts. What's the chest doing? chest is kind of coming down I'm going to continue that arc around sorry I was just looking at the, the arc in there wow not once wow I didn't feel sick at all not once <laughs> i don't really like this look away i think it's the facial expression but that's partly because i haven't actually done the facial expression yet you know not once wow i didn't feel sick at all not once wow. i think this would work better if he buried his head into his shoulder more in the Z and maybe a bit of neck in there as well. So let's do that. And then that might end up being a bit too pushed, but I'll scale that down. Once? Wow. Yeah, I, I think didn't that works feel better. sick at all. Not once. Wow. Oh, not once. Wow. I didn't feel sick at all. Not once. Wow. Cool. We're getting that. Uh, I think I'll put that on a two because it's fast. Once, wow, not once. Wow, I didn't feel sick at all. Not once. Once. Uh, let's go on twos again. I think we want to hold. We're gonna treat this like a bouncing ball, right? So this is the this. I'm treating this as the apex, this extreme here. And then what I've done on twos is I've eased in and I'm gonna ease out and then I'm gonna ping out quickly. So we get a little bit of a hold in this up position here. Um, so right now this pose is this one. Uh, so the next one I'm going to ease out to hold and then we're going to flick back out. That's the plan. So as this one's kind of easing in, or maybe we could once, wow, once, once. maybe this is this kind of easing in, uh, and then we got this one, and then we're going to ease out. Okay. But I kind of want to. Uh, I think maybe actually we'll ease in some more. We'll ease in for another two frames and then we'll ease up. We'll treat this as a breakdown. So if this was a break, a bouncy ball, this is somewhere in the middle. This is easing into the top and then this is going to be the actual top. So let's do that. So I'm going to ease into this next pose. I think that'll give it a slightly better timing if we have this little bit of hang time up here and then snap back out of it. Hopefully that makes sense. Decision making wise. I'm going to keep that arcing around. shoulder maybe you can overshoot here
Once. Wow. I didn't feel sick at all. Not once. Wow. Once. Cool. What's the cog doing? Cog's probably linear as hell right now. So let's look at it. So maybe at the start of that move, I can bounce it down. And then in here, I can start to have it coming over. Cool. Cool, what's the chest doing? I'm gonna keep that arcing around. Cool. Once, wow, I didn't feel sick at all. Not once, wow. I didn't feel sick at all. Not once. Cool, we're getting there. <laughs> very fast, boy. I am very fast. Don't feel bad if you're slower than me. I worked in TV for two years, maybe three years. I can't remember how long it was. And that will turn you into a speed machine. Cool. So this one we're going to ease out. But I think I want to keep the head up. So the head kind of leads it. And then the head stays and starts to drag it. That's the idea. Keep that arc going around. And I'm going to grab all the face controls. And make sure that they're not changing until we get out of this pose. Cool. So the cog, on the other hand starting to ease down at this point so this can be quite a bit snappier haven't really looked at the cogs rotate because there isn't much in here i'm gonna have to layer in a once? bit of rotate in there wow i didn't feel sick at all not once wow i didn't feel sick at all not once wow. cool do I have one of those super cute, super huge oh, curve screens? Good. Yeah, this is 34 inch ultra wide. Uh, so that's why it's like layer boxed in this screen. Um, I like it just for general workspace. I think it's bigger. I have my tablet synced just to that screen. Uh, a lot of people like to have like two screens and have like maybe the camera on one and the perspective on the other. But for me, I just like working to camera in one. And if I've blocked correctly using perspective, then hopefully I get most of the way there just by using the camera, at least in this stage. I will clean things up in perspective as well, make sure they work in 3D uh, when I get into spline. But for now, it's a no. I think this needs to be an overshoot as well. Okay, let's continue this arm arc. Once again, looking at this intersection of these two lines and making sure that they arc around nicely. Once, wow, I didn't feel sick at all. Not once, wow, I didn't feel sick at all. Not once. Wow. Cool. Uh, so I'm gonna start to have the neck lead that that way even though the head is delayed and the eyes need to hold because right now they're not cool what's the chest doing cool make sure that has somewhere to go wow i didn't feel sick at all not once wow at all not once wow at all not once cool uh right so i think i'm gonna be a bit crazy here i want the overshoot of the cog to happen here so i'm gonna have it happen here <laughs> i'm gonna start to favor this pose so we're coming out of this one now i'm gonna start to come back i do want the head to be dragging though so I'm going to keep that dragging, but the eyes are going to lead. Cool. 
I think we can drag these as well. The head shapers. I'll do a full pass on that at some point. Cog. The cog needs to be down. Cool. Cogs rotate does just once. not exist at this wow. point. I'm gonna have to do a pass. I didn't on that. feel sick at all. Not once. Wow. Not once. Not once. Not once. Wow. Not once. Wow. I didn't feel sick at all. Not once. Wow. Cool. It's getting that. just wanted that head to end in a slightly different position uh what's this i kind of want to bounce it more back to that final position wow not once wow not once wow i didn't feel sick at all not once wow i didn't feel sick at all not once cool we're getting there let's get some final eases to this final pose Gonna keep things in arc. Uh, I need to probably figure out this a bit more. Wow, not once. Wow, not once. Wow, I didn't feel sick at all. Not once. Wow, I didn't feel sick at all. Not once. Wow, once. 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 Not at all. Not once. So I think one thing I can do with this knot in here is anticipate the weight shift. So I'm going to do that quickly because I think that'll be cool. So when he goes down for knot, his weight can go back onto that back leg a little bit. Uh, I'm going to scale this up so it makes a bit more sense. And then it can start to ease out a bit more in here. Just so that this makes sense. Make sure that this isn't hitting any bumps in there and it's progressive. Once. Wow, I didn't feel sick at all. Not once. Wow, not once. Not once. Wow, not once. Not once. Wow, I cool. didn't feel sick at all. Not so there's a blocking once. plus pass. Wow. I've got to go in and clean up a lot of stuff. Break up a lot of not stuff. Once. Wow. But it's getting there. Windows app calls always on top, I believe. Uh, how you keep the internet window over Maya whilst working? Using sketch, uh, using trying to use sync sketch over my. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, I didn't know that there was an app for this. This program, for example, has an option where you can put it always on top, and then that will stay on top, and then I can use my whilst my reference stays there. So that's super useful. Uh, but that's cool if there's a program that lets you do that. Uh, Windows app called always on top. Very cool. Thank you. Tack bar. Not once. Wow. I didn't feel sick at all. Not once. So I'll, I'll once. get to a point in a minute where I'll stop the stream. Uh, so if anyone has any questions, that would be cool. Wow. I didn't but feel I will sick do another stream all. where Not I keep once. working on this. Wow. I think it's, I think it's a fun little test. I don't think it's anything Not special, once. but it's a fun test, especially to get used to this rig, which I think is really good. That's my final verdict after using it for a couple hours. I think it's a real solid rig. Would recommend it. Make sure things are in arc again. This hits a bit hard in here, so I'm going to probably just keep it 
going in X a bit more linearly. Wow, I didn't feel sick at all. Not once. Wow, at all. Not. Uh, so I can do this as well. When he goes over this way, I can get him to lean a little bit. That's way too much, but you get the idea. Uh, it's from this key onwards. So let's do that. I'm just kind of copying what I had in the X. I would copy paste this, but I don't need to. Not once. Wow. I can ease this out, break it up a little bit. Once. Wow. I didn't feel sick at all. Not once. Wow. I didn't feel sick at all. Not once. I think that maybe the cog bounce in here is a bit too much. Uh, so I'm going to scale that back. So it isn't quite as much. Wow. Not once. Wow. There you go. Feels a Not bit more once. connected now. Maybe we can scale it up a little bit. Uh, I've forgotten what the key is for scale neighbor right, but I can just scale normally instead of using a hotkey. Cool. Wow. I didn't feel sick at all. Not once. Wow. I didn't feel sick at all. Not once. Wow. I didn't feel sick at all. Not once. Wow. Hi, can you try creature animation? I do want to try creature animation at some point. Some dogs or something would be cool. Uh, I'm not. <laughs> I'm not a very good creature animator. I'm a not character once. animator by trade. Wow. I'm not a VFX I guy. I think those, those are all. the real creature not masters. Once. Wow. I didn't feel sick at all. Not once. Wow. Cool. Uh, what did someone else say? What kind of shot do you think a junior animator should focus on for his demo? And how long should it be? Uh, you know, there's lots of lots of different exercises. Look people recommend right there's like weight stuff there's like getting up from a chair that's a classic um what other classic exercises do people do some parkour or something for body mechanics wow. an acting shot i didn't feel sick at all not once but i think always try and add once. like i haven't really gone into depth with the who this character is like as part of this I've just done it as a little test and just wow. shot some reference. Once. Wow. I didn't feel sick but at all. But if you're doing, Not always once. try and add a little bit wow. of story. Like if you're doing a parkour shot, like Not make it interesting. Wow. Make it someone chasing someone down a street and then doing all. parkour Not or add, add some kind of wow. story to it. So that it isn't just Not basic, once. you know, and that will make it 10 times more interesting. Wow. I didn't feel sick at all. Not once. Wow. Not once. Wow. Cool. We've gotten decently far with this. We're blocking. All. Not once. Wow. Uh, I wanted to look at this cog in here because I haven't actually done anything with it. I'm going to make this even bigger because I don't want too much cog arc in here, but I want a little bit. I'm going to drag it down and then it can come back up and over. And the Rotate is dragging from the translate here, so it can overshoot like a frame later. Wow, not once. Wow, I didn't feel sick at all. Not once. Wow, at all. Not once. Not once. Right, I think he needs to translate more over through all of this. So I'm just gonna scale that up. Wow, not once. Wow, oh, not once. Oh. I think this should ease out as well a bit more. It's a bit too broken at the moment, a bit too isolated. Not once. Wow. Yeah, I'll, I'll go through. I didn't feel sick the next passes I kind of do Not is I'll, once. Wow. I'll like just I do a pass on the cob. I'll hit spline Not because 
Wow. Hopefully the blocking plus is solid enough that all. it holds Not together. Once. Wow. And then I'll go through, I'll go for the cog, and then the chest, and then the head, once. and then the arms, wow. and then the legs. I didn't feel sick at all. Not once. Wow. And then once that's all cleaned up, I go on and do facial. Not that's once. kind of my workflow. Wow. I didn't feel sick at all. Not once. I didn't feel sick Thanks for coming, everyone. What's the time? I finished about half an hour left. Madness. Not once. I thought this would take me the full three hours, but apparently I'm just rapid. <laughs> I didn't even know I was that quick. I'm gonna put some of it down to the to the rig being super handy. I think I'm gonna overshoot in the Z in here. I think that would be cool. Wow. Yeah, no, that kind of looks kind of moving things all over the place that don't need to be moved all over the place. If I can clean this up. Just using these out here. Once. Wow. I didn't feel sick at all. Not once. Wow. Not once. Not once. Maybe I can add in a little blink in here on this head turn. I'm going to try using these blink things. I never use blink things like this, but. Wow. Once. Wow. Not once. Wow. Not once. Once. All right, all right, all right. Wow, I didn't feel sick at all. Not once. Wow. Cool. I'm I didn't feel a sick bit of that at all. Not once. Wow. New rig is out. I'm getting one. I don't think it's out yet, but you can pre-order it. Not it's twenty percent off right now. Wow. They were lucky. I was. I didn't feel sick. At <laughs> I was very cheeky, and I asked if I could once. test it out on stream. Wow. Because I wanted I to didn't test feel it out, at all. and they were nice enough Not to let me once. test it out. Um. But let me paste the link to it again. Right now it's 20% off, I believe. How's it going though, Danish Kelt? It's been a while. <laughs> I'm a cheeky chap, you see. Wow. I didn't feel sick at all. Not once. Wow. At all. Not once. At all. Not I think I can start leading this head earlier. I think that'd be cool. Once. Wow, I didn't feel sick at all. Not once. Wow, I didn't feel sick at all. Not once. Wow. Cool. I think I this is decent. I didn't feel sick at all. Not once. Wow. For a blocking plus bar. I didn't feel sick at all. Not once. Wow, I didn't feel sick at all. Not once. So yeah, as I say, the next wow. pass, I'll be going in and splining things. Uh, and at this point, this is basically where I get rid of the reference because I've got everything I want from the reference now. Uh, what I want to do at this point is push things and make things snappier and, and make it have a nice rhythm once. and, you know, make things appealing. So I've got kind of the general motion from the reference. Uh, I changed some things to make it work a bit better. Wow. I didn't feel sick at all. Not once. Not once. But yeah, I mean, I can... Since I've got a little bit of time before I go, I can like make this arm a bit less stiff, for example. Give it a little flex and overshoot or something. Might be cool. Once, once. wow. I didn't feel sick at all. Not once. Yeah, wow. it's true. That I, I, I don't think there are many like all. teenage once. rigs, right? I think that's one of the things the guys that made this were saying were how there is a lack of kind of teenage rigs, which is a shame because there's a lot of great dialogue out there that I think suits like a teenage rig more. Uh, let's. Wow, 
I didn't feel sick at all. Not once. Wow. I didn't feel sick at all. Not once. Wow. Uh, did it come with a picker? It does come with a picker. I did make this one myself because I'm extremely picky with pickers. I think it comes with MG picker. It comes with this, which is an MG picker picker. So if you like MG picker, I think I imagine this is a good one for that. I don't have a clue. It comes with Studio Library as well, which is really nice. Uh, I've used it a, a few times for different things. I'll probably use it a bit more when I go into Spline. Uh, but yeah, personally, I like uh like small little pickers like this this is like how i make them because that's how i like to animate oh, wow i didn't feel sick at all not once not once cool wow i didn't feel sick at all not once wow not once i wonder if i can make this stronger Maybe if the hand opens up more. Like I'm going off my reference now and I'm just trying to find poses that are stronger, right? That's like the idea. Wow. Not once. Not once. Wow. Oh, not once. So I think not the main issue with this transition is nothing really leads that much. So I think maybe the head should lead a bit more. Let me get that head around more early. Once. Wow. Not once. Not once. Not. Once. Wow. I didn't feel sick at all. Not once. Wow. Not once. Once. Wow, I didn't feel sick at all. Not once. I think maybe I need this plant. But then I'm ending up with a bit more of an S shape, which I'm not the biggest fan of. But I think I need a bit of a plant on the hips here. And then in here, we need to start getting into that C shape. I'm going to keep poking at this forever, I think. <laughs> I said I'm basically done a minute ago and then I'm like being super pokey with it. Once. Wow. I didn't feel sick at all. Not once. Wow. At all. Not. Okay. This is a bit big, but. Not. Not once. Wow. I didn't feel sick at all. Not once. Wow. I didn't feel sick at all. Not once. Wow. Uh, it's looking great. Thanks, man. How's the rig? I want it so bad. My also gift for Christmas. I didn't feel sick at all. Not once. Yeah, no, the rig's great. Sorry, I, I went into my own zone then. The, rig, <laughs> the rig's been really solid. I really cheekily asked for it early so that I could do a stream with it because I've got time off work right now and I wanted to test it. Um, but it seems really solid and... I really like what the guys that are making it are doing with it. And I think if it does well, they're going to make more, which is great. Because once? if they wow. all get to this quality, then that's awesome. All. Not once. Like, wow. Yeah, I saw it and I, I wanted to do a personal shot of it. So Not here it is. Once. Wow. It's a bit, bit of a bug standard Not testy once? shot. I think Not it's not like super funny. Wow. There's not really an interesting context to it. That would be something I'd think Not about a lot more once? if I was going to do another wow. test. But for now, for a little test. Not once. And uh, you want me to run through the controls. Uh, I don't know if there's anything. There's a few things in here that are quite nice that I guess I could run through, but. 
I know uh, Jean Denis did a video of this week, which is cool. And someone followed. Oh, yeah. Thanks for the follow. Once. Wow. I didn't feel sick at all. Not once. Wow. Not once. Uh, let me clean up this arm because it's definitely not right. <laughs> Give it a little bounce at the end. Wow, I didn't feel sick at all. Not once. Wow. Let's make sure that, that bounce works in all axes. Wow, once. Wow, once. Wow. Cool. Not once. Wow. Not once. Wow. Once. I think that works. What's this doing? This is turning it in space. Okay, cool. So let's delay that. Cool. Wow. Once. Wow. Once. I'll wow. do a proper cleanup pass I and everything when I get into spawn. I'm just being Not picky with stuff. Once. No? Wow. Uh, once. Maybe I'll push pull this a little bit. Once. Wow. Once. Wow. I didn't feel sick at all. Not once. Wow. But yeah, everything will be nice and broken all. up and fleshy Not when I get once. into spline wow. and break everything up. And I didn't make it feel nice. sick at all. Not once. Wow. Uh, cool. All right. I've just been blabbering along for ages, but I think, I think that was a cool Once. stream. I wow. think we got pretty far into it. I guess I'll do a play blast with this. Have I got any cool background colors? Nah. Let me make a cool background color so we'll get a little bit of a stack going. Uh, is there a color manager or something in here, right? Do that again. I think we've got color settings. Here you go. 3D views. So I can make this a cool color. I think the blue goes with him pretty well. So let's do a play blast. Uh, let's just call it Leo Test. And we'll just call it the same name as the scene so I don't lose track. Leo Test 03. Cool. So blocking plus. Things need to be broken up. Things need to be in spline. There's no facial or anything right now. I play lost extremely fast. Jesus. Wow. I didn't feel sick at all. Not once. Wow. I think also because the render setting is really low. So let me turn that up as well. Just for blocking plus sake. Wow. For seeing it nicely. There you go. 920 by 1080. Same aspect ratio. Just bigger and nicer. How to get rid of project view in Keyframe Pro. Uh, let me show. Where is Keyframe Pro? Did I close it? I did close it. Oh, well, here's a Keyframe Pro. It's these ones down here. Oh, whoops. It's these two. So if you click these two, it'll get rid of them. And then also, if you hold down Control and scroll, and then hold down with a mouse click, you can do 2D pan zoom, just like in Maya, but it's Control instead of backslash. And that way, if you've got a reference which is you know in a corner and then you want to look at a different reference and that sort of thing and you just want to make it small that's what i do wow i didn't feel sick at all not once wow i didn't feel sick at all not once wow i didn't feel sick at all not once wow i didn't feel sick at all not once wow i didn't feel sick at all not once wow I didn't feel sick at all. Not once. So there he is. Wow. I didn't feel sick at all. Not Last question. Once. Go for it, bud. Wow. I didn't feel sick at all. Not once. Thank you. Wow. It's uh, I didn't feel sick it's the start for a, for a fun little once. shot. I like the rig. Wow. I didn't feel sick at all. Not once. Wow. I didn't feel sick at all. Not once. You can also wow. show hide each menu at all. under the tools. Not once. Wow. Uh, they're all bound to F key numbers. Oh, Not cool. Once. I didn't know that. Wow. I didn't feel sick at all. 
Nice uh, points. Yeah, you can hide wow. like the timeline. Like at all. Nice there you go. Points. So you could just make it like wow. if you've got it in Maya and you want it to just be like a plane like that. That's oh. cool. I didn't feel sick at all. Thanks for that, Marcus. Marcus Keyframe Pro Expert. Oh, not once. Wow. It's I flipping. didn't feel sick at all. Not once. Wow. I didn't feel sick at all. Not once. Wow. I don't really once. like the wait not at the once. end. I don't think it not works amazingly. Once. Not once. I think it's just not linear once. side to side. I need wow. to come forward a bit or I back a bit or something. At all. Not once. But that's wow. a problem for another day. I didn't feel sick at all. Not sick at all. Not once. Wow. I didn't feel sick at all. Not once. I also wow. don't think when I, I flip it, my eye has adjusted Not to the point once. where wow. it looks trash I when I flip it. So there's definitely issues. Wow. <laughs> that's how that's how animation works. Not once. Wow. I didn't feel sick at all. Not once. Wow. Cool. I didn't feel sick. <laughs> yeah, you're allowed to swear in here. No worries, bud. I swear all the wow. time. I didn't feel sick at all. No. All right, guys. Well, I'll call that there for today. I, didn't feel sick I think that was a fun little stream. I think the rig's really cool. Wow. I'm going to continue animating uh, this shot. And wow. yeah, make sure to follow the stream. Uh, if you click follow on Twitch, wow. it'll give me a little notification. I'll give you a shout out. <laughs> but yeah, uh, if you follow me on here, you should get notified when I go live. Wow. I'm going to try and do some more this week. Uh, work on this shot. Me and my friend Marcus, who's in wow. chat, are going to do one uh, as well at some point. Uh, I think we got a fun idea for a stream, so we're going to test that out. But yeah, I want to finish this test. I think it'd be cool. And then you guys can see kind of my whole workflow process as well and learn from it, which would be great. Uh, I'm sure I'll learn from you guys too if you ever give me any <laughs> criticism, which is fine. Uh, anything else? Follow me on Twitter. I, I always tweet when I go live, so do that. All right, guys. Thanks for coming along. That was a fun one. See you in a bit. Goodbye.